Hey guys, so I got pretty lucky and I got this uh, this old TV provider here and if you look in here You'll see um, these things. These are called uh, capacitors and um, So they sometimes they have pure tantalum metal in there uh, So I'm gonna be trying to extract that tantalum metal from these capacitors uh, And maybe we can get some tantalum metal so if you want to do this yourself uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is put some gloves on because uh, the electrolyte they use in these capacitors will stain your, uh, stain your hands yellow pretty bad. I don't know how bad that is for you. I'm assuming it's not good for you. I wear gloves. So you're going to want to get the shell off. I'm going to be using these needle nose pliers and this knife and maybe anything else I find around. Uh, sorry about the sound in the background by the way. I have my metal foundry that I just bought going over there. I'm currently recording another video actually. Uh, I'm melting down a silver spoon and putting it into a silver bar so keep a lookout for that because this one will probably go up first. So I broke the show down into this little thing and you might be wondering why I'm not wearing gloves and it's because I've let this one out to dry for a few days now and I think that I might just be able to rip this cardboard right off of this tantalum metal. It actually unravels pretty easily here. I don't know if this is tantalum metal or not, but let's just take it off and try and find out. So it's, um, it's a foil type material. And so if this is actually tantalum right here, we're gonna test it. Uh, it won't melt in my blowtorch. So let's go try that out. There's other ways that you can test this too. So if you put this into a strong acid, like muriatic acid or something like that, um, and it dissolves, it's not tantalum. But if it doesn't dissolve, another indicator that it is tantalum. So I have this little piece of metal right here in these pliers, and I'm just gonna hold it up to this propane tank. And as you can see, the metal is deforming but none of it is melting, okay? The metal itself is not melting. So that gives me a pretty good indication that this might be tantalum. Uh, I'm gonna do the strong acid test in another video, but I'm pretty sure this is tantalum because it looks like tantalum. It doesn't melt and it was in the capacitor of a relatively high-end TV provider. So that's how you get tantalum metal. Um, tantalum's pretty hard to melt, so if you get all this uh, scrap, then, you know, it's going to be hard to melt down into little pieces or bars. But if it's just one element collection, then it's kind of cool. Anyway, please subscribe for more awesome videos, and peace out.